All right, good morning, class. Today, we're going to be learning how to solve word problems using the five-step method. All right, can anyone read for me the first step? Go ahead. Read it not once, but twice. Yes. Here is our handy dandy word problem. Would you like to read this for me? Uh, yeah. Uh, Beyonce had 331 strawberries. She has 27 family members that she has sent strawberry boxes to. I'm preparing the box when she eats seven. How many strawberries go into each box? Got you, got you. Can I read it? Um, yeah, go ahead, because we need it twice. Beyonce has 331 strawberries. She has 27 family members that she is sending strawberry boxes to. Oh, sending, sorry. Okay. While preparing the boxes, she eats seven strawberries. How many strawberries go into each box? Right, beautiful, beautiful. So step two, solving a word problem, because we've already did part one, which is to read it twice. Next, we're going to consider the facts. So in order to do that, it's important that we underline any key information that we find. So within this word problem, we have a couple of key information, key points that we can use to help us solve for an equation. Well, help us to formulate an equation, that's a better way to say it. Beyonce has 331 strawberries. That's, an, that's a numerical value that we need because where are we going? We want to know how many strawberries are going into each box. The next important piece of um, information that we have is that there's 27 family members. Now with this word problem, I know we're looking for boxes, but we can assume that because there's 27 family members that she's sending boxes to, there's going to be 27 boxes. That's an easy assumption. Next, next thing we need is that she eats seven strawberries. So that means out of the 331, she's eating seven before she's even sending them out. So that's also a factor into our equation. Step three to solving the word problem is actually to visualize it. So I drew you guys a little picture showing. I'm not, I wasn't going to draw 331 strawberries, but we have 331 strawberries, right? Um, we have 27 boxes, so I draw out 27 boxes, and we know that she ate seven. Does anybody know what eating seven means, like in math, math-wise? How would you describe it? Yes, exactly. Subtraction. Thank you. So we have subtraction, and then how do I... Do you guys have any idea how I would divide this into the boxes? Oh, I just gave the answer away. <laughs> okay, but yes, it's division. We're going to be divided. We're going to divide it into, the, into these boxes, which takes me to step four. So step four is to write out an equation. Therefore, we're going to use the information that we highlighted or underlined, sorry. To, um, to formulate an equation. So here we go. We have 331 strawberries, so that's our starting value. So we're gonna mark, mark that in right there. Next, um, we know that she has 27 family members, but we can't do that yet because before she sends out the boxes, she ate seven strawberries. So we need to put that into our equation as well. Minus seven. Next, we also, Okay, next we have to include the 27 family members, which is going to be division because, remember, she's dividing them into boxes, right? She's dividing them into boxes, as we just talked about. So, we're going to put this in parentheses because the, set, like, the subtraction of the 7 happened first. Because if we didn't put the parentheses here, it would, just, it would mess up our equation. So, we're going to put divided by 27. And then this, we'll put equals... Um, number of boxes. And as you can see, we utilize all the highlighted information that we have up there. And now all we have to do is solve for this equation. So you guys ready to do that? Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Does anyone, does anyone actually solve the equation yet? Before I go ahead and solve it on the board? Can I do it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes.
it'll be 50, it'll come up 